Hey guys, it's Framed, and today I'm here to bring you a quest guide on the quest Dream Mentor. The only quest requirements you're going to need for this guide are to have completion of Lunar Diplomacy as well as Edgar's Ruse. You need to have a skill requirement of at least 85 combat, and the items needed to complete this quest are a Seal of Passage, three different types of food to feed the fallen man, and I think you need at least 15, if not more, one Astral Rune, a Hammer, a Tinderbox, a Pestle and Mortar, and a Gout Weed. You can obtain the Gatweed by stealing one from the Troll Stronghold Kitchen Storage Room. To start off this quest, head northeast on Lunar Isle and climb down the ladder. Then, crawl through the cave entrance and speak to the Fallen Man. Scroll through a bit of dialogue until you can no longer do so. Then, feed him three different types of food and talk to him. After you've talked to him, continue to feed him three different types of food and select the options that will reassure him he is alright. Keep trying to feed him and reassuring him until he eventually stands up. What I would do if I ever lost you. My heart would break in two if I ever lost you. I'll hold you close in my arms. your hands in the sky you'll see the sparks fly tonight i'll never leave you dear the sun fades out Once he stands up, scroll through a bit of dialogue with him until he asks you to get items from his bank. After that, leave the cave entrance and go back up towards the ladder to the bank. Go to the bank and talk to Bird's Eye Jack on the end. Scroll through a bit of dialogue with him until he allows you to access the bank of Siriusus and take out a dragon med helm, a whip, Aram's robe top, Aram's robe bottom, as well as ranger boots. Once you've done this, go back to the cave and talk to him, selecting the first option. After he gets dressed, continue to give him food and keep reassuring him that everything's going to be okay until all of his status bars are at 100%. Just lift your hands in the sky You'll see the sparks fly tonight I'll never leave you dear Scroll through a bit of dialogue with him and then exit the cave and climb the ladder. Head towards the southeast part of Lunar Isle and then speak to the one eye romancer or the girl uh, by the astral altar, I guess. I don't know, however, what's ever easier for you, I guess. Anyway, speak to her with him so he gets over his fear of combat. She will give you a dream vial with which you need to fill it up. To do so, follow what I do on screen by filling up the water from the sink next to the bank, adding the gout weed to the vial, and then adding a crushed astral rune to the vial. To get a ground astral rune, use a hammer on it and then use the shards of astral rune with a pestle and mortar. Then, use what you get from that and use that on the vial. Once the potion is complete, gear up with food and armor and be ready to fight. Use the tinder box on the ceremonial brazier and then speak to Cyrusis and select the first option to start the fight. I recommend bringing both melee and range since you can safe spot certain creatures, if not all of them. Keep in mind that you cannot use prayer during this fight either. The fight is relatively easy and if you're unsure about how to go about doing it, then just watch what I do on screen.
Once the fight is complete, scroll through some dialogue and head back to the Wonomancer and speak to her. Select the second option and talk with them until the quest is complete. Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out in any way, then please be sure to give it a like. I also want to let you guys know that I will be making upcoming quest guides and all the quests that I still need to get done, such as Morning's End Part 2. So look forward to that.